Hey everybody, this is Christian from the Architect channel, and in this video I'm going to show you how to copy your visibility graphics settings from one view to another view. So the first thing you're going to have to do is actually set up your visibility graphics settings, and it doesn't have to be anything perfect yet, you can always be able to change it later, but um, mine isn't anything special either, it's just a pop of orange color, but in my opinion it's a lot better than what I started with here on level 2. So in this video I'm going to be copying the settings from level 1, and then pasting them on level two. So to actually begin, we're going to go up to the ribbon up here and select the view tab. And all the way to the left is going to be a button called view templates. We can drop that down and then hit create template from current view. Or alternatively, we can go to the project browser and select our current view. Actually, let's go to level one. We were on the wrong view and hit create view template from view from there as well. So two ways to do the exact same thing and we can name it whatever we want. Let me just name it floor plan template. Hit enter. And uh, I added a period uh, before the name starts so it automatically appears on the top. That's a little life hack I do. Um, but here you're going to decide, um, do you want to copy your whole viewport or do you just want to copy the visibility graphics settings? And you may be thinking they're one and the same, but there are a few things that differ. Uh, visibility graphics is going to be everything in this dialog box here that you can edit with typing VG on your keyboard. But there's also other uh, parameters like view scale, uh, detail model, down here is going to be view range, orientation, color schemes. So you just have to decide, do you want to copy everything or do you just want to copy the, the, the visibility graphics? So uh, currently, or at least in this part of the video, I just want to copy the visibility graphics. So I'm going to turn off everything else but I'll show you what it looks like in uh, the end with them on as well. So most of the time it doesn't really matter if you copy everything. The only time I have had problems is uh, with the view range turned on. Um, if I try to copy uh, a floor plan view to a reflective ceiling view, it kind of messes up the orientation of where we're looking. So ju you just have to be aware of what you're selecting on all of this. But after you have that done, you can hit OK. And now we can finally move to the level 2. So from here to apply it, we can do the same exact process by right clicking and instead hitting apply template properties. And once again, we can go to view templates and hit apply from up here if you want to use it from there as well. And just make sure you have the correct one selected. So floor plan template, you can either hit OK or you can double click as easy as that. So now that that's done, uh, we copied all of the visibility graphics settings. If we open it, we can see all of the orange just like we did on the level one view. But uh, as you can see, we don't have the shadows open right now. And that's because we chose to not include the shadows. But why don't we change that? Uh, we can go back to view templates and instead under the manage view templates tab. Of course, we, I said we can edit it earlier. Here's where you're going to edit it. And you can uh, simply click or unclick everything from earlier. But once again, you can go inside of here and edit uh, smaller categories or not smaller, but more in depth categories if you want to do that as well. So I'm not going to dig around for the shadows button. I'm just going to re-click everything to save us some time here. And after that, I can hit OK and update the view template. And to actually update the current view, we're going to hit apply and reapply it. And there we go. It's, um, it sure is a lot darker from before. I guess I, I had some opacities on my visibility graphics settings. So I guess they layered on top of each other. But that's how we got our shadows back, so now it's an identical uh, viewport. Uh, something that you may have noticed though is that when I edited uh, this uh, template, it didn't update automatically. I had to go up here and hit apply and reapply it. But if you want it to constantly be reapplying, like uh, have it automatically update so it changes whenever you change the view template, you can go down here and under identity data and under view template, you can select it and select floor plan template. And I'll do the exact same thing for this one, view template, floor plan template. So now if I made any changes, uh, let's say I'd, I don't want these grids anymore. We can go back to view templates, manage view templates. I know I'm saying view templates like 20 times already, but that's where we have to go. No other way around it, but we can go into visibility graphics and grids are going to be an annotation category. So I can type grid in here, select grids and grid guides because we are crazy like that. But as soon as I hit apply, you'll notice that they're gone immediately. 
because thanks to this little uh, view template button down here, it is now rescanning for updates every single second. And uh, this view kind of looks a little cursed without grids now. But if we go back to level one, uh, as you can see, the grids are also gone and we weren't even in that view. It's just because it's automatically updated like that. So if this helped you at all, remember to leave a like. And if you want to see more Revit tutorials like this, remember to just subscribe. Uh, this video actually didn't take me too many retakes. I think I'm getting better at this YouTube stuff. So stay tuned and I'll see you later. Bye bye.